Hey you guys, welcome to the channel. This is going to be a really short video. I wanted to give you a really quick update about a video that I had posted, I believe, last week in reference to the Apple M1 uh, Mac Mini that I had purchased. I went through and I indicated that I had some issues and in the end, um, you know, I, I, I gave it an overview of, you know, an aura of positivity, but I indicated that, you know, with the software and some of the stuff that was there that you probably wanted to hold off until I get some of those things sorted out. And uh, unfortunately, I've had to completely wrap up my iMac, or not the iMac, the Mac Mini, and I'm returning it. And um, the reason why is because it got into the loop that I had mentioned um, in the previous video, and it was pretty much unusable. I couldn't even go in and adjust anything. And come to find out, that's a problem with the M1 chip and the Mac Mini. And they're seeing that the M1 chip, uh, coupled with the operating system, there are some anomalies that they can't seem to get right. And honestly, uh, I'm at a point in my workflow that I can't afford to have days missed because of, um, because of a hardware slash software problem with Apple. This has, of course, been going on since they released it back last year, I believe October, November-ish. So even with all of the power and the prowess that the new M1 chip touts and how incredibly great it is whenever it's working, and, and I experienced that. It was fast, and, you know, the interface was beautiful, and, and I mentioned that in a previous video, but I have never had an Apple computer do what that M1 did to me. It basically failed, and... In the end, I, you know, I did have a, a scheduled appointment with the Mac store and then it got better. It got better. And, you know, I was like, okay, so I did a couple of things the internet suggested to make it better. But then I started doing some investigation and peeling back, you know, that uh, cover on, on the, um, you know, on the issues that, that Apple's having with that new M1 chip. And honestly, uh, it was surprising. And... It is disconcerting because, you know, you pay a lot of money for a product and you don't want to be a beta tester. You know, beta testing is is that time period before they release the product. And honestly, you can't sit here and tell me that you didn't understand or even know that all of those things were going to happen. You know, you release that product into the wild on multiple platforms from the iMac to the Mac Pro to the Mac Air and the Mac Mini. And that computer has compl it completely failed. I mean, I didn't lose any data because that's not the way I set things up, but I, I'm very disappointed in, in Apple. And now I still have to buy a computer. It's gonna take weeks for me to get a re refund. And, and I have to look into buying another Mac and I'm not going to be purchasing the M1. And I won't be purchasing the M1 for probably at least three years, just until they get everything ironed out. And all the programs um, that are used by myself from the Adobe Creative Suite to Sketchbook Pro to all of those programs, you know, Clip Studio, Paint, ZBrush, all of those need to be optimized for the M1 chip. And honestly, until they get that on-frame system up and running and not having issues, I will not be buying the M1. I'll actually be looking at an Intel machine. So that being said, hopefully you guys can see that even though, you know, Apple will tout that they're the greatest, they're the, you know, even the tests that I saw were amazing and I experienced it. It was super fast, but the baseline, the computer needs to perform the function that it's designed to, which is work. And whenever a computer doesn't work, it upsets the balance of workflow, um, especially for myself who relies upon these machines. Now, do I have more than one machine? Yes. But at the end of the day, my Mac, uh, my iMac that I've had basically since 20, late 2013, 2014, never did anything like what that Mac Mini did. And that is, you know, that is sad. So anyway, hopefully you guys get something from this video. Look around, see some more reviews, and definitely like and subscribe. And I'm sorry this was kind of one of those videos, but I need to warn you, do not buy the Mac Mini M1. And in fact, I wouldn't buy any M1 computer from Apple 
at least for the next two to three years because they are just, they don't have their crap together. And I get having new technology. I get that. And and I, I get all of the ups and downs, but don't release a product into the wild until it's been beta tested by, you know, people that volunteer or, you know, you've stress tested and you've, and you've covered a bunch of mere, a myriad of things, um, you know, that have the potential to quote unquote, destroy the user experience. My taste in my mouth for Apple is quite sour right now. So that being said, we'll see you next time, guys. Bye.